welcome to the uh, Brookfield Selectman's meeting uh, at, of Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. And would you like to write, join me in saluting the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do we have any public access for this evening? There's not. You're not? Oh, okay. All right. All right. The first thing we're going to, we have uh, wage authorization here. It's from the. Uh, oh, I get, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I'd like to uh, motion to ratify the payroll warrant of 523.17 for $175,000. Seven hundred and eighty-four dollars and ninety-eight cents. You have that motion. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. All right. I was ahead of myself. Any public access? No. All right. Okay. The next is uh, wage authorizations. Uh, I would like to entertain a motion to sign a wage authorization for Richard Holbrook who will be the seasonal worker for the highway department and the wet rate is $13 an hour. I'll make that motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I also have a second one from the water department. Uh, the employee will be Dennis Clark, and he will be the second operator for the water department at a rate of $21 an hour. I'll make that motion. A second. All in favor? Aye. Now I'm going to skip down here to other. Uh, this came in to me today. Um, if you remember, Clarence, back in uh, the spring that we signed a, um, a proposal with Catlin and Provic Architects for the um, C, what is it, Pioneer Valley Planning Commission? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. They're not able to have it all finished up, so they would like a contract extension through June 30th. And they would just like me get approval so that I can sign the paperwork. I make that motion. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can let you look at yeah, it. Yeah, may I look at it? Yes, it was a grant. Mm -hmm. So there's no additional fee. They just want a no. little oh, extra no, time no, for the delivery. Oh no, they Yeah, they, they weren't able to finish up with the plan, okay. so they just want additional time. Okay, I'll certainly second that. Okay. No discussion, so all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, I'll sign these. That's it. Okay. And this is another one thing that I have to um, bring up too. It came in this afternoon. It's to approve um, some town meeting changes uh, that came in from um, town council. And I'll read this. It says and we'll have to. Okay. There is an additional item not on the agenda that was not anticipated 48 hours in advance. 
and that is that changes were made by town council regarding a few of the articles. So uh, I would like to entertain a motion to approve the annual town meeting changes as follows. Okay, article 27 and 28 be deleted due to the monies to be transferred would not in the town's possession when the tax rate was set. Delete articles 9, 10, and 11 and renumber articles. And the explanation is under the Municipal Modernization Act, the town needs to now have a revolving fund bylaw. After we adopt the bylaw, we can annually reauthorize the spending limits at town meeting. And so we'd like to add to newly numbered Article 11 to see if the town will vote to accept the provisions of General Law, Section 44, 53F3-4, and establish a special revenue fund to be known as PEG Access and Cable Related Fund, effective for the fiscal year beginning July 1st, 2017, for the purposes of identifying General Law 44, Section 53F34, and to further appropriate the sum of, and that would be the balance remaining in the local ca cable access revolving fund as of June 30th, 2017, to be ex expended by the Public Access and Communications Committee with the approval of the Board of Selectmen for cable related purposes or take any action relative thereto. And it says, under the changes to the law, monies received under the town's cable license agreement with Charter Communications will be general fund revenues unless com community adopts general bylaw chapter 44, section 53, F3 slash 4, establishing a special revenue receipts reserve for appropriation fund. Communities have until the close of the fiscal year of 2017 to establish this fund. Otherwise, the fund currently in the cable revolving fund will be closed to the general fund balance as of June 30th, 2017. <coughs> so if you'd like to look that over. And the three of you, the, the um, warrants that I had attached reflect those changes. Yeah, reflect, yeah. So, so I'll make a motion to support. It been no second. Certainly. Okay. There was no discussion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Boys, tell us to do it. We've got to do it. Okay. Makes good sense. Oh, okay. sure. All right. So now we'll move on to the review of the budget line items. Okay. Yeah, I wish we had a ruler. I should have brought one in. Yeah. This kind of action. Hmm? Flip, flip a piece of paper over. That's a good idea. Hmm? No, you made it too small for me. Not bit, well, I'm good. <laughs> okay. So our first one is uh, the moderator's salary of $50. And so that was um, recommended by the advisory board. Yeah, so do we just so, do, do we, we just, just do the changes? I mean, I don't know. Are we going to go over the whole thing? We're going to go over the whole thing, but I'm just saying, I mean, for, oh. for time, the just to go through the, the just go through. I, I would say any, sections. Yeah, I would recommend anything where the requested equals the advisory recommendation that we would just go ahead and block vote it for that section. And then okay. we can discuss anything that has okay. some significant yeah. <clears throat> discrepancy. Well, we have one here. Okay, it's um, it looks like seven. Is that the first one I'm seeing here? Uh, that was uh, that supported. The change was supported by the advisory yeah. council. So there's no it's, change it's, in what you requested. It's so. the far right column, it looks like. That's the difference between what's requested versus the advisory recommendations. Oh, yes, so, okay. So would you entertain, a, I'd like to make a motion that we, um, uh, do we want to say support or concur? I, I'll make a motion that we concur with the budget as presented through from line one through line 14. Well, okay, so I, I have a question within this. I, going back to line nine, 
Yeah, that's what I was just looking at just, also. I mean, that's the delta difference. And though, though we agree, that was based on what, Linda? I just don't remember it. Is that the town website? Yes. Yeah, the yes. town. Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Because remember, we joined, we changed yeah. some servers, and then we also and then we're going to uh, do that virtual town virtual hall. Virtual town hall, okay. yep, and our, yeah. And that's how much it's going to. We knew it was good. You approved it. Yes. We knew that it was going to cost yeah. a bit more in the beginning because it's set up fees and whatnot. Yeah. Right. That's why. Okay. It's, it's All right. Like, so we'll approve that. All right, and then line thirteen. Um, there is later a CMRPC line under the planning. Under planning. planning. And so I just wanted to make sure. Uh, what this 1925 was, Carrie? The 925 is the delegate fee. And then yes. the is it, and the other yeah. is the planning fee. So, so the, for a total of 28. Okay. Yeah. All right. Then I, uh, okay. I can make the motion. That Excuse we're, me? Yep. Um, CMRPC is not, I just want to point out, CMRPC is not part of the planning board budget. There's no, nine. It's part of the general budget. Right. Which we're reviewing. Yeah. Okay. Just want to make that clear. Yeah. We made There's sure a, that, Shannon. The, there's a line there, and I just wanted to be clear that yeah, there were two lines. No. Okay. So I'd make the motion that we ex we are in favor of lines 1 through 14. I will make that motion. I'll second. I'll second. Okay. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And our next one, okay, we'll go down to 16. Oh, okay. You made a small cut, I see, on the accountant's salary. She had put in for thirty-five thousand, and you cut it six eighty, six hundred and eighty dollars. What was the reasoning for that? No, we did. We increased it. No, we increased it. No, you. I requested thirty-five, and you approved for thirty-four three twenty. Three percent built in. No. No. Well, I don't know how the board, is, the rest of the members feel, but I would like to entertain a motion to move it back up to thirty-five thousand. Well, just I, I would vote the budgeted. I mean, that's a larger conversation, but I would say that we, when we're going to vote, when we get to town meeting, we're going to use the FY budget requested as yes. the, as the numbers that are read, mm -hmm. and then the advisory board can ho put a hold on that line, and yeah. they can explain the 680. So I would like to uh, entertain the motion to accept that figure. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, and, uh, and then um, maybe during um, the discussion. I mean, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to make that. I'll make that motion, but um, no, we, we get have, the discussion. Yeah, we'll have discussion over it before we can. Okay, the discussion. What What was the reasoning to cut the 680? The what? The thirty? The thirty-four three twenty? Yeah, yeah. Why did you cut it? She had put in for thirty-five thousand. Uh, that's, that's what was requested to us, and that's what we gave her. Okay. I, no, she got. We gave her more I, hours, I, and we gave okay. her more pay. I requested more hours yeah. and more pay. So right. based on a thirty-hour work week. Yeah. It does come to the thirty-four three twenty. Correct. Oh, okay. So it wasn't actually cut then. Um. Well, I requested the thirty-five for emergency wiggle room. Um, oh. I do put in a lot of extra hours. Oh, I know I also you do. do their budget, yeah. which I, you know, I do on my own time. So, yeah. um, well, I know she's doing it all on her own time, and um, I. Oh, I we, well, we, the, yeah. we gave her whatever she, we put in. We were one hundred percent behind what she yeah, gave. Well, that's, well, that's, well, my, no, that's my error because it, I. Well, you, you were, oh, okay. That's yeah, fine. that's what she put in. Then. So I, I'll fix that line just so that we uh, all agree. And well, uh, and actually, well, well. I, Let's well the, the whole point of this discussion is so that we can have the discussion if 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 the 680 is appropriate given the fact that we still have a, a fair amount of work ahead of us to get fully reconciled and stay fully mm -hmm. reconciled yeah. um, I would probably f favor rounding that to the 35 that yeah. My thought. That's, okay. yeah that's what um, I approved that's the, what I thought too. The, the other piece is I think we need to have the conversation up front now regarding because we're going to have the question on on all the wages. Do we want to just have the discussion now about percentage, or are we going to just? We, we can't technically. We can't. It's, it's up to the townspeople. Yeah. We cannot it's decide it's amongst no. ourselves whether we no. are, are voting for that two percent, three percent, whatever it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. We can't make any no. changes until the town vote comes through. 
No, I agree with Carrie. We well, can't. We have to. Work well, that's that's not no, histor that's no. not historically how we've no. done. Usually, we present a budget to the town that includes that percentage. Right, and what what has happened for two years in a row is their holes holes have been put on those numbers, and then we get to the bottom, and then all of a sudden it's now a single single motion that relates to the holes that were placed on those lines through through that. In fact, I have a document that are the lines that are involved and what it would mean so i'm ready to have that conversation after we get through okay the so rest we'll have of it after that's what my question was do we want to discuss it before now have after? all of them put in like a percentage this this is based on um what was put in plus two percent no 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 no. Not. no 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 i'm saying my document oh, okay okay, okay. Right. my document my Okay. My document go, it went through the lines because we've had it for two years in a row. Yeah. It's been cumbersome and it didn't flow well. So rather than having that, we should have that conversation tonight. Right. And what I'm suggesting yeah. is we go through as we have and, and there will be holes on those line items. And then we, we will face it before we move to the larger one. Okay. That's my suggestion. Okay. So you don't want to do the wages then? Not now. Not now. Let's go We're going to go through, through budget. the budget as it stands and okay. then have the and wages have, discussion. Have a conversation. Uh, I do have something to say about that um, with regards to the 2% or 3%. There were three particular uh, departments that included them in their request. That is correct. And I backed okay, those so up. Okay. Even though we had asked them not to. We took correct. it out. We took it out. Okay. I, could, I took their figures, put it into their requested values, and took your advisory position and put it in your column. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can clearly see which departments they were because it is a three percent or two percent yeah. difference. Okay. All right. Well, that just really, that just makes everything complicated. I agree, but that's why we're here tonight. Okay. No, no, I understand that, but that's why we, yep. we didn't put anybody in well, from the get-go. I do have a question. If we can question it now, the accountant had requested. Well, can we back up one more? Um, okay. Go ahead. For the accounting clerk, she requested. Sixty-five hundred dollars, and you you cut it to fifteen hundred. What is the reasoning behind that? I, from the prior conversation, I believe it was that we didn't um, we weren't sure how much extra help she was going to need, so we gave her that amount to get you started to see what we, what else we need and. I, I kind of, when I presented my budget to yep. the board, however, I did break it down for you line by line how I intended to utilize this person, and um, I was given less than half of what I anticipated, mm -hmm. and um, quite frankly, I'm already putting in 40 hours of my, my time. You've agreed to pay me for 30, that's great, but um, that means... 10 plus more hours that I'm doing for free if I still have to do all of that work for myself. So how many hours actually I carried it? I requested an average of 5 to 10 hours per week based on the fact that some weeks I may need them 5, mm -hmm. but I do know that during certain time periods of the year I will need someone yeah. for 10 hours a week. So I think it's, yeah. it's simple. Mm -hmm. the, the Board of Selectmen are suggesting yeah. the 6,500. Mm -hmm. And that the advisory board is in at 15, so be it. So and we'll discuss it when we get to town meeting. It, it's still less than, I mean, it's significantly less than the year prior. Um, so I didn't think that that was a, uh, an unreasonable request. No, I don't think it is either with all the up and coming work that you have to do. So, so there'll be a hold at town meeting and okay. the advisory board can explain their position. Right. Well, Carrie, do you think? You, now that we're discussing, you, you, you were comfortable. When I came in and talked about the clerk hours, you were okay with the 15th. Do you, and you were, and we gave you. I, I really was not, but I wasn't given okay. an option. Okay. Um, well, that was when so, we were discussing it. That's why I brought it back to the board. But we did discuss it as a board. Okay. And so when you said to me, well, how much would you be comfortable with? You said, would you be comfortable with 15? I said, well, if that's all you're going to give me, I guess I well, have to Well, that was to just to start it out. Now, you, are, you, are you good with the hours that you. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Are you yes. going to be good with that? Or? Yep. With okay. the 30 hours? I, I think that I can, given the scope of what is going on in that department, I think that once we pass July, August, I, I feel very confident that I can do it in 30 hours. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because you're only doing 20 now. That's, that's we're getting paid, paid for 20. 20 yeah, and she's doing enough. much that's more a, than that day. That's barely enough. No, and no, I have significantly increased my hours over the last couple of months. 
Um, but I'm still working well within my budget. Okay, but I still don't put in for all the hours that mm -hmm. I do work. I'm here sometimes till midnight. She's been here today. Well, so I think. I, I mean, I think. I, I mean, I think she should be problem. paid for. Them. Oh, of course she. Of course she <laughs> should be problem. paid for the hours if she's putting I mean, in extra hours. I personally feel that the budget I presented is fair and reasonable, mm -hmm. and it's it's up to me to work within that budget. I'm a person of integrity. If I say I'm going to do it in 30 hours, I'll do it in 30 hours and work and charge you 30 hours. If I put 50 in, that's on me. And so, we'll revisit it next year. But still the way I feel, Carrie, if you are putting in extra hours, you should be paid for those extra hours. Well, and you know, I, I understand yeah. both sides yeah. of the figure. I'm here to work for the people of this town. So while I would appreciate being compensated mm -hmm. more, I also understand that I have not proven myself to this this town. So I, as a professional, am willing to take a step back and say, this is what I'm willing to commit mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and I will work within that budget. And you would also be, that amount would also include whatever COLA, you know, of course, is decided. So. Correct. That would be on the way. But that's later. That's later. So, so <clears throat> we approved the forty-seven five. The board of selectmen approved the forty-seven five hundred at line nineteen. Yeah, yeah, we concur. We'll yeah. second that. At forty, what was that? Forty-seven five hundred. <clears throat> yes, that's and the one. Just, yeah. just to put it out there, I'm not going to argue with the budget. If you feel it's not fair, it is what it is. I'll work with it. Mm. It's, it's, you know. I, I was during our conversation with you. Were you trying to fill this clerk position, or is it currently? Filled? It is not the new bill. Right. Here's, here's one thing I think we call in our conversations is um, uh, the 1500s was put there to keep the line open. Uh, I recall discussion about having difficulty filling that position because of the nature of the job or maybe the structure of the hours or something like this. And then the ability to come back in November to request additional money, which we did. That was the nature. Uh, yes. I was not. That was not addressed to me. So Correct. That was that addressed? Yeah. And, and the and the thing I would, uh, Madam Chair, the thing I would caution in trying to take that approach is that if people are aware of the budget for a position, if they know enough about municipal finance, and you only budget it to that amount, and you're waiting for special town to yeah. to do that adjustment, there's a high risk that anybody who has the least little bit of savviness about the way town finances work may say, you know what, if the town's in a bind in the fall, my job goes away, I'm not going to sign up to do it for three months and then right. not have that position. It makes it even harder to fill with a quality person. So it's that's that's the risk in taking that approach. Yep. Well, the other the other part to that though is this is a part time position. Yep. We're not yep. talking about needing money to fill 40 hours. Oh, I, yeah, you know we understand that. We're talking a part-time position, so I think the numbers are much lower. And I, I don't, you know, we're going to take that into consideration That's why in, the fall, in the fall as well. But, for instance, you know, in other departments, we've had trouble even getting a clerk, period, for, for a while. So, in the interest of, I think, in part of it is in the interest of trying to not over-budget, so that we don't have all kinds of money, you know, we're turning back later. If we haven't filled, the, I'm, I'm, I'm very, com I'm very comfortable, Madam Chair, with with going ahead, and we budget it to what we think the full year expense is going to be at annual town meeting, and we revisit it at special in reverse, where if we haven't filled the position yeah. yet, then we cut the amount of money and the amount of hours. Absolutely. to what it That's is how through feel. the end of the year and then if we get to the special at the end of the year you can go ahead and and actually yeah, and again roll it, roll again. it back, roll it back. so so we have opportunities to roll it back without adding complexity to trying to fill the role well i can remember many years ago i could ask for money for a clerk mm -hmm. and they gave me so much money and then they promised me at the in the fall that i would get it and the advisory board at the time didn't Rejected. remember that, Next, yeah, and I had exactly. it, and I never got the money back into the budget. So I think if it's requested now, it should go into the budget. Yep. That's how. All right, so we've got agreement down through <clears throat> for the FY18 budgeted request through line 19. Yeah. We're okay, so we're on to line 20. Okay. okay. And we, we have agreement on line 20, yeah. so I'd say, I'd say that the uh, selectmen approved through line yeah. 20. 
I'll uh, second that motion. And I, and I do have a quote already in hand um, yep. for that. So and, exactly. Okay, any, dis any discussion on that? Nope. Okay. So we're gonna bring, we're gonna level off the line up, bring it up to 35 even? That's what the selectmen have recommended. No, that's what we're recommending. So we're going to entertain that motion to bring it up to 35,000 even. Even. And then the counting so clerk. So it's a, uh, that, well, yes. Okay. So we want to second that for then discussion? Second. Well, we didn't finish all. I'll entertain a motion. Oh, yeah, we're good. We just have to say aye. Okay, aye, aye. aye. Okay, we will accept. I, I just I just remember part of the conversation being also that um, uh, a matter of increasing the line because of hours and then um, people look at the percentages overall and this is not about you it's it's strictly about numbers um, upping it and then on top of that a cola and people. Well, uh, I don't know what the figure would even add up to. Oh, well, that one's the 6.25. The next thing you know, you get everybody, you know, chasing around. Well, she got 6.25, and why can't? I just thought that's something that's happened in the past. And even though we can have a valid justification for it like this, it doesn't seem to matter. So I think that might have been part of our reasoning at the time too, because we do a lot of us talking do you, about. Do you remember that? Yes. Okay. So well, now, are you talking that on her salary or the clerk's salary? No, this was hers. They're discussing. They're still okay. discussing the okay. line for themselves. So we're, we're, we're down the line. Let me just be clear. I heard a couple of voting on, going on, on over there. What did we just vote so I can change the spreadsheet? Well, they haven't decided they yet. Haven't. Yeah, there was a motion to raise it, and it was seconded, and now we're discussing Call in favor. Call in favor. So line 200 is, is going to be brought up to 35. Oh, line, line 16. Line 16. Line 16. Line 16. Oh, I'm looking at, yeah, I'm looking at the, the book. Yeah. So I would say the select board with that vote moves to line 24 and that we approve through line 24 at $2,200. I'll second that. Yeah. I make in all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now we're, then, now we're coming down to the assessor's assistant wages. Um, he put in, it was 53352 and it was cut to 44,948. It no. was an $8,000 cut. Eight, eight, yeah, 8,404 cut. I believe that, um, may I? Yep. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, what, it looks like the advisory, I have notes here in my system. Uh, the advisory looks like they have um, reduced his salary to include a, an, ex, an assessor's clerk. What did Al put in? Al put in the 53. Right, without a clerk, right. Without a clerk, but they put in with a clerk. Yes. He's just saying he needed a clerk. So that would probably be something that we should probably talk to him about. It's too bad that he wasn't here this evening. So where were you with your discussions, though, about the clerk versus his salary? So let's have five down the road from that off the top of my head. Okay. How many hours did he request? Because I know he's been working over his budget also in there. So I, I, I would motion that through fiscal year, budgeted request was 65227 and I would recommend that the Board of Selectmen approve what was requested by the assessor. I'll second that. And we can, Al will be at town meeting and we yep, can have we the can. discussion. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> All right. So there's yep. changes at, on it's treasurer. The treasurer. So I guess because of that change, I would also move to line, line 36, and I would suggest that the Board of Selectmen approve 65, 9, 71. Well, I have one question. Wait a second. Though, I'm sorry. I didn't catch what, what, your, what your motion was. I just went down to line 36 because, again, we don't have – Holly's not here. Yeah, Holly's here. Oh, Holly. Holly's Where are we? Here. Oh, I didn't see you. And also, yeah, and also I have some questions because it, it did include a – looks like there was 
a three percent included uh, oh. budget request. Okay, now oh, okay. was that the fact? Um, keep in mind that this these figures were provided by Sandy prior to uh, her retirement uh, yeah. departure. Yeah. Um, and she did include the three percent. Okay, so uh, the what issue with this budget is the um, title of clerk wages versus assistant treasurer. Okay. Ah. Because I don't know, I don't believe that the advisory board uh, supports that. No. Am I wrong in saying that? Mm -hmm. Well, I I highly support to have an assistant treasurer. And versus I, a clerk, is that versus, what you are? Yes, ver, versus the clerk. We need the assistant treasurer in there. And so, we've got to try to get that approved to town meeting with um, with the personnel board for to I'll add it. Up. Madam Chair, can I just run a couple questions by sure. the account? Um, so from, a, from an accounting perspective, depending on, a lot of times we have to fall back on intent of the town meeting, so my understanding of municipal finance is that even if for some reason the town meeting didn't approve assistant treasurer that if the wage account was approved we could at least use that to fund somebody's salary regardless of their title the town would have to vote to adopt that position yes. no i understand that but if they chose not to adopt the position but we had voted it earlier in the meeting in the line item then I believe that those wages can could still be applied to the clerk if for some reason we didn't adopt the title. Though that would be probably well, we, not, a, not a great move for the town given the fact that, the, the, that our legal advice is that we really need the position of assistant treasurer. Yes. So don't get me wrong. I'm presuming that that is going to pass. But the thing is then right now what um, the advisory had, that had approved 14,232. So if we didn't say approve, then we would have to knock that wage back down from the eighteen thousand to the fourteen. So to the fourteen. Well, and and, the, and and that's what I'm saying. I I yeah. mean, we support the article to create the position. We certainly yes. support the budget to the appropriate wages for the position. It, I'm just worst case scenario playing it that if for some reason we were having to pay the individual out of that and we had not created the title, would, would that create a, a problem for the from an accounting perspective? My belief is that if we vote to approve the 65971 for the whole department, mm -hmm. um, we could move that line item back to the clerk. If it, um, if it was yep. necessary. If it, if it was that's, necessary. That's, that's all I'm confirming. Yeah. As long as we have the budget yep. set, yep. Um, we can apply it to whichever position yeah. uh, mm -hmm. that it, it that's my understanding yeah, as well. Yeah, whatever is approved. So let's go back to line 31 then. So line 31 for FY18 budget requested should reflect 32,492. Uh, no, no, no. no. I'm on line 30, 31. I'm on line, it will be 33. It should be 32 because the 33 has the 3% on your Yeah, well, that's where I'm going back yeah. to. I'm going back to the line 31 mm -hmm. that. The request was to add the 3% mm -hmm. to make this thing clean. I'm suggesting that the 33,467 be 32,492. Okay. Because that takes out the 3% so we can work with it later. Okay. I would concur with that. Right? I'll, I'll, okay. okay. And then, and then what, what we're suggesting is that the budget, the selectman's budget requested will be the 32,492, mm -hmm. 18,304. 5,200 and 9,000. So again, Carrie, you'd have to tell us what that bottom line number is. 64,996. 64,996. And so the my motion is to use 64,996. I'll second. Okay, any discussion on that? Okay, we had, the reason we had a, we had a difference, Do the we? treasurer's salary was fine. But we had, a, we had a discussion on the clerk. You're making that into yeah. a position? Yes, we're going to, yep. we want, we need to make that. It's going to go from a clerk to a? Treasurer. treasurer. Uh, assistant, assistant treasurer. 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 Yes. Okay. So, what we had a question on was, the, the clerk is not qualified yet. You know, she's going to go for training, and the increase is going to go from 17 something to uh, a five dollar increase. No, but it doesn't mean it. The thing is, it's well, like we tried to talk about last week, Dave. It's the 
it's the position, not the person. And that is, that is a range of salary. The most that they can make for that is the 20, I think it was $21. So it's a range in that salary. Well, when, that, she came in to well, when she course. came in, she said that the, 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 the personnel board agreed to give her an, an increase of $5 an hour. This is she forced she, she Holly, said she, Mike? There, it, yeah, yeah. We did sign a, a wage offer. Yeah, for that. For that. But for, this, for what, Holly? The select board signed it. Yeah, the, we signed it. Yeah. Yeah. For what amount? For the 21. Okay. Right, so that means it's authorized. So to us, then that can happen. And what we're saying is, well, some of us, I don't know about everybody else, but that $5 an hour is too much considering. But that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean, you know, just one that training it, it, it's the training will be enforced, that's all. We, yes, the training will be enforced because she's already agreed to go to. School. But she doesn't have the training now as well. Yes, she has a lot of the training. She's been, been working in that. She's no, been I know working been trained, in that. But I'm just saying years. certified or whatever you said to us. But she's been working in the position, and that's an important position. If it, this ever happened again, mm -hmm. we need somebody to put them yeah, in that spot. The treasurer, when the treasurer comes in, they have to send them. Yeah, so, you so have again, to send I, them. Our, our motion is 64996, yeah. and this, uh, the advisory board can They're explain free, their position at, they want. At, at, on the floor. Can you so, explain to the public how we got along forever and a day without this position? Because we... all the legal things that you're talking about, about payroll, and Carrie explained very you know, well to us about when you don't have someone available in that position. But this isn't the first time that we didn't have, I believe in the past, you know, you have a change, people come, people go. Um, so how did we get along by working on all yeah. this all We're, the time? The financial team yeah. by doing all yeah. the time. Yeah, about, they've been doing the financial team. They all chip it. When things, when yeah. things come down, Marie, mm -hmm. what they do is they all join forces. They're very united up here, and everybody helps everybody. But we're not, and they the put in all extra it, hours. The other part that was told to us was the legal part of it, about not being able to have, having someone to sign for yeah, payroll you, and that sort of thing. Yeah. So in the past, who did that? Who signed for payroll? And I, I, I yeah, it's actually the tax collector. Yep, yeah. yeah, they were, so and they had the signing ability. At one time, I think it was back... 2014 that's when we had the problems and Brenda became the um, we made her um, acting treasurer and mm -hmm. Brenda had the ability to sign the checks okay because that was part of the yeah. that was part of the argument was yeah. well we need somebody to sign the checks well, well Brenda was somebody to sign the checks in the past so well Brenda had that but right, right. now it's important that we need somebody in that position if something happens, if even if the treasurer is out sick, if they go away. You need somebody that can pick right up on that position. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened right now. Holly was able to pick up on that position because she was very well trained for more than three years on it. Well, that's understandable. And, and, and if, if I may, the last time, and forgive me if I'm wrong, Brenda, but I think during one of the periods of time where you were acting in essence as the signing authority and the only bonded person in mm -hmm. the town for both treasurer and collector it was also when you had your knee surgery and we went like a week and a half where I think people had to run stuff to the house for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, literally, I, just because we've made it this far doing it that way doesn't necessarily no, make doesn't it the right answer. Right. It, no. You know, anything from our past, let's be prepared for, for the future. future. Yeah, we yeah. have to be. Yeah, that you people can't. are going to leave. No, yeah. but I just, I don't think we want to see position, we want to make sure that there's a solid reason for creating yeah. a new position. Well, it's, so it's, the yeah. same, it's, it's the it's okay. the same reason why we need to realign our, it's the same reason why we need to, to, to realign, you know, how we track our, our, our accounts and in, in our software. It's that we've, we've made it this far, but a lot of the modernization laws that hit back five, six, seven years ago, we're non-compliant to. We're hitting it right now. Okay. They so, there versus right. the well, other. That's what, that's what I'm on. saying. Yeah. It's, it's, hey, it's we're going to be here all night. Okay, so keep okay let's yeah. go on to the so, town clerk so, one, right? Uh, I'm going to no. just say one thing. I said we were behind the position, but the only question the board has was, and, and an increase was fine, but we just wanted to see her get some training yep. first before she got an increase. Yep. And that's where we had the difference. Yep. So, mm -hmm. so, so we're now down to line 41. And I'm make, making a motion that we approve 63.87.13. I'll make the motion. Pardon me? There was a was a 3% there. So, Carrie, yes. could you help us Reduce with it? it? You want it to be 41.871, which is less 41, than 41.871. And could you give me a bottom line again, please? Yes. So, oops. Uh, 
131. Okay. 131. 13. 59, 131. Okay. And so that's for the total and the treasure. Right. Yes. So we take the three percent out. And with that, I made make the motion of the Board of Selectmen support 59131. Second. Um, in the collector you're talking, right? No, in the collector. Yeah, yeah. line 41. Yeah. Okay, so what are you doing on line 41 now? Think so. What is it now? What do you, do you approve 55, 550? And what, what is your what is your motion, Clarence? Fifty nine one thirty one. Uh, what's already there minus the three percent back out back out of it. Carrie, what was the total of that again? Uh, Fifty nine one thirty one. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't um, put a um, thousand dollar certification. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's that was going to be my question because I just noticed the thousand That is supposed to be a separate line item, yeah, the certification. Well, there currently yeah. isn't, so we've included it Did in you? the budget. Uh, expenses. $400 deduction is that my mileage for the year? Just no. When, could I speak on the certification? Sure. Because that that should be a, a whole separate line item. It should say town co collectors. Um, I have not created an account yet for yeah. that because it's yeah. not been necessary. Yeah. But I, do would you like me to add it as a separate? Yes, it, line it item? should be a Please. separate item okay. line item. So right is the thousand, thousand? I will take that. That's yeah, it's a state. Yeah, because we had it passed quite a few years ago. We had to accept the um, the chapter to yeah, get the I'm certification. Good, I'm good with that. But is is the fifty nine one thirty one including that number or not? Yes, yes. it does. Yes, okay. No. So well, it shouldn't. I mean, it should it be. Sh a, you, yeah. She's going to add it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to add it. Now. Okay. Expense account. Yep. So we'll have a separate line for a, yeah. at a point, but yeah, at good. the at Would the. Rather also level fund my expense account and not subtract the four hundred dollars. I do need my mileage. My job. Yeah, well, well, oh, no. Sure. We're no. supporting it. We, I, don't think we, I don't think we. I don't think we said that that was mileage. It, well, the the total approval was yeah. reduced by four hundred dollars. Yeah. So, right, but the amount of our mileage was like five sixty seven. So that's not. That wasn't an that issue. That wasn't mileage. So can I just clarify before we move anywhere? We're we have life. the collector salary level at forty one eight seventy one. Correct. Mm -hmm. We have the expenses now at ninety four hundred. That's what no. you that's no. what you requested. No. no, no, no. no. Yes. yes. I have yes. a line Actually. now for collector certification for a thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. going to go in there. Software for sixty eight sixty for an official total of fifty nine one thirty one. Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. I just want to make sure I yeah. have that correct. Yep. Okay. Okay. So do you see why we went down on the on the hours? We had a question on her hours, the hours that she's working. I don't work hourly. Can we get over that? Okay. So the reason we went down to make this clarified is because she's we, she came to the to uh, before us for two years ago on on the, on the budget two budgets ago. And she won an increase of six hours uh, versus having a clerk. So we had that big discussion. Um, the board was split, so we all agreed to give her six more hours. Um, which we did, and that went fine for the first budget, and we said, we'll see how it goes. Um, last year, the budget was, we, we approved it again, and then last year, she stopped working on Fridays. She wanted to work Fridays that extra six hours because the foot traffic was, no one was here so she could get her hours done. She needed that extra six hours, and we, and we gave it to her, and we thought it was the right thing to do. But now she's, now those six hours, She's not working those Excuse six me. hours. I do work those yeah, six hours. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm speaking no. right now. You're also lying. Point of order. Okay, okay, Point okay. Order. That's enough. Stop. Right there. I'm speaking. I'm okay. I'm the chairman of this board, and I want to finish what I have to say. We gave her the six hours, and last summer, after that last budget, we gave her the six hours again. Mm -hmm. And then last, after that was done, she stopped working the six hours. She came in. She was. And I spoke to you, Linda, about this too, right out here. And you said she was making her hours up because she's she not was. working Fridays. Because she okay. does. She comes in earlier. That's okay. Like she was coming in. I know she was coming in on some of those days at, at 2. And, at two. Okay, now she's at, at noon. she comes in here at noon. M Madam Chair, can I, can I weigh in on this? Because I was part of that discussion as part of the advisory yes, that's committee. That's true, you were. Okay. 
And yeah. I, I'm going to I'm going to sway this conversation <clears throat> all the way back to the reason why I supported that change. Yeah, me and you were on board with it. Yeah, which was uh, right. I understand that, but I'm 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 going back to the future but don't here. Don't go back too yeah, back. But, no, no, no. I just, I just, I just, I just want to clear something up that we need to be. No, but I need to yeah. be. We just need to be careful about one thing, and we've already heard it once from one of our, in essence, in essence salaried workers. We cannot define a salary against a less than forty dollar an hour job in the state of Massachusetts and use that as a way to duck paying people the equivalent of overtime for that position. What, one of the things she brought to us during that meeting was that she was working more than, in essence, what the calculated out hours versus pay was at the time for that position. Regardless of whether those hours occurred on a Friday or during the week, the work wasn't getting done in the amount of hours that the salary was based off of. It was based on 26 hours. So we right-sized it. No, it was based off of 26. So, so, so Madam Chairman, yeah. the Board of Selectmen have endorsed the 59-131, yes. and I would suggest we move on. I okay. would like to have a vote on that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We're all in favor? Aye. Yeah. Aye. Okay. Okay. Now this uh, just I don't know if this is just a point of order, but this is supposed to be a joint meeting. Yeah. Sure. And we're supposed to be able to have conversations about what our rationale is. You like have your Yeah, but we're we're, 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 not, we're not gonna get out of control. No, but we're just not gonna it's get not out of control. We're having well, a conversation. If you didn't... But the the I would like just to point out that Beth just explained to you that you really have no authority over a uh, salary position with regards to her income. Okay. It doesn't matter if she works yes. 20 hours or 40 hours. Okay. If she's hired at a certain rate, yeah. she is paid that rate whether she works mm -hmm. 20 hours or 40 hours. End of story. That's the law in this state. It, okay. okay. And, and, and then where elected, where elected officials are concerned yeah. also, she, if she wanted to, she mm -hmm. could just come in and work one day and still collect that salary okay. and nobody has anything to say about well, it. Well, then it's kind of ironic then that that person would come to us with her rationale being based on hourly. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just giving you an hours, example, Marie. At that point, I wasn't even at that meeting that you guys came up with some hourly figure. I was not you there. Sub, but but you, submitted a, you submitted a paper to us because you guys wanted to know the hours right. that I worked. And it was based on and an hour. to complete a job, which right. is what I did. Yes. But in order to, to figure out how much we would give you for an increase for those hours, it has to be based on something. The numbers don't get pulled out of thin you air. You guys came up with the wrong figure. I'm not even going to We were going out by you guys the things out that you time. gave us. All right, first okay. of all, it was based on 28 so, hours, uh, 26 hours, what I just said. Uh, 28 hours, based on 28 hours. I got it right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Everything is based on hours, not salary. It even says no. wages. No, it is well, not. She is a okay. salary position. She's okay. a salary but position. She's not an hourly talking, position. And it did, just hear me mm -hmm. out, okay? That was an elected position, and I've checked with other towns, an elected person has been elected and they have set hours that they have to work. X number of hours per know. wages. I've talked to other towns. And that's the same as what we do in this town. Same no, many, same many, so house many house hours. Works 10 hours a week. Yeah. No, no, a no, salary exactly. position in the state of Massachusetts <laughs> does not matter if you work one hour I understand or that. On a salary, yeah. that's correct. Which is her position, but so there position. is no so argument not versus this hourly. Isn't a salary position. She is a salary. She, she doesn't get paid set, different by the week. It's a, it's by a, by a the set week. fee based she, on hours. Based on it hours. It is not if based it's on hours. hours. Well, all the documents that have been brought to this board is based on hours. It's for estimate purposes. All right, let's stop. We don't want to get out of hand with this right now. Mr. Sarah. We're talking too much truth again. I'm just speaking the law. Yeah. Let's be clear no, on that. I understand that. That's okay, fine. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. Right. You, if you, if, no, if, no, a, well, if a, if a okay. salary means this is how much money you get a year, and it don't matter how many hours you work, mm -hmm. so that means if the job takes 60 hours, that's your pay, and that's it. Correct. The time okay. for that's negotiation right. is the next budget well, year, which she did. And, 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 she did. Right. And, and here's the, and, and I'm gonna correct. and I'm gonna go back to my original statement. Let's clarify something. Not all salary positions are 40 hour positions. Correct. But if a salaried position is defined based off of the presumption of a certain number of part time hours, if that person is regularly exceeding those hours, okay, you cannot use the fact that they are salaried 
to not pay them for the time in. No. Okay. And and in essence, okay, the reason why we budget a salary based off of less than full time hours, and so everything would be presented to the advisory board based off of an hour calculation would be in, in the effort of maintaining fairness and establishing that annual salary on the less than 40 hour position. Okay? So if we're, so if the job generally took 32 hours or 34 hours to get done, but we were paying based off of a salary that presumes an average weekly commitment of 28 or 26 hours or whatever it was previously, if we knowingly know if we well, knowingly know horrible yeah, English, going, okay. If we know that that keep that's going. not an accurate representation of the time required to fulfill the salary position requirements, we cannot budget it that way. That's we have correct. to budget it against the appropriate number of hours. Well, I think the other part of our argument is that, that it would appear that these hours are not all needed. They are Based on not being here to Take fulfill control. the schedule right. that she came to us. Now the other part of the other part of the argument is we were looking also to have more presence <laughs> in the town hall. Okay. Here Monday through Thursday. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not talking about stop yeah. it. That's that's okay. enough. Can we have Mr. Sari? He had his yeah, hand up. You know, the idea that Brenda would ever need somebody to assist her, from day one she started this job without an assistant. Yep. I mean, there was somebody there doing more of the treasurer's work, but she's always done her less pay until more recently, and she's done, as far as I can see, a really good job. She has. She's diligent about mm -hmm. doing her work. A little, I also want to comment that I think we've got a really good finance team here. Everybody's picked up yep. some slack. Holly yes, I know. Right That's what I said earlier. Yeah. I think a lot of people are passing that office over. We've got a big mm -hmm. gap to fill right yeah. now. And, and without and I without the financial clear. team, Everybody. we have and without the yeah, financial team. Okay. Well together, yeah, they do. Done. I would say we move this on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. They do an excellent job. Well Madam so, Chair. Okay, let's move. Fifteen or twenty thousand, if that's what you've done and looked around. But they also get to keep their demand their fees, fees and their and usually their MLC fees. Now, yeah. just ran a quick report, and um, the demand fees up until the end of May was thirty-five thousand dollars just in demand yeah. fees. So, it, you're giving a lot back to, to the town. Yes, yeah. right. because not that all was towns are like that, though. So a no, lot but, of towns, but a lot of towns are. Lot all of all right, that's America. enough. Let's move on. Line forty-two. <laughs> Legal fees, <coughs> sixty thousand bucks. Hmm. Why? I I'd like to entertain a motion for the sixty thousand. You have the motion. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And move to line forty-three, the ten thousand dollars for title taxes. Okay, and uh, entertain a motion for the ten thousand instead of thirty-five. Hundred. Well, the, not instead of the ten thousand, what was recommended? Yeah, by, the ten thousand by, by was, Sandy. Yeah, so we're we should. Leave it at 10? Yeah, yes. we're going to leave it at ten. We should leave it at ten. Absolutely. That's what we agreed on. Yeah. It was cut. So we are agreeing with the advisory ten. board has what agreed that ten. Tax. Yes, we for ten for tax. Okay. Tax time. Did All you right. guys need to revote that because you submitted? No, we voted ten. ten. Okay. No, okay. it says right here. The, the document 35. I said said thirty-five, so that's what I put. If you're saying it's ten, we'll put ten and be happy. Yeah, we're ten and happy. Ten and happy. So I'm going to move to forty. I'm sorry. You can go ahead and do your vote if you like. We're done. I, we're done. It just it occurs to me why we that is thirty five hundred because we were not clear that there was going to be someone available to pursue tax titles. We're pursuing tax yes, titles. Yes, we are. But who's the person that that's going to right. be handling that? When the new treasurer comes in, the new treasurer. Well, they, okay, we don't know. I'm just sharing the, our logic. We don't know when this person is going to be here. We There's pray by Zola. Well, we hope we hope tax title accounts going with Copeland and Page all the time. Yeah. Right? I mean, as far as I've been official, we're not going to cut money and mm -hmm. that protects the town. That's being penny wiser. It's yeah. not cutting money to. We were going oh, at okay. it from the position of not okay. having someone in the okay. office. Let's keep. Let's keep going. 
that we still had a lot of money yeah. in the account? We did that until then November we were going to put, if he needed some more, we were going to get to bring it back up to the tent. Okay. That's, right. that's why the 3500 is there. Yep. Okay, let's move on. So we're line 47. So you're bringing that up to 10? Yes. All right, so let's, so our thinking was 10, but we voted 35, so you guys want to make, I'm going to entertain the motion, we bring it to 10, and not wait till November to put the balance in. Second. Second. We made the motion. Okay, so No. Motion. 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 Okay. So we're starting at 10. We're just not going to get it in November. Got it. Okay. Carrie, that's 10. Thank you. Okay. So we're line 47, 3843. There's a motion. Okay. I'll second the motion. Uh, any discussion? No, All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're in sync. So no, line 50, we're in sync with mm -hmm. 7969. Yep. We're, all, yep. we're all set with that. I'll make that motion for 7969. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We're down through 53. We're in sync. 1275. Hey, okay, no, I yeah. can't highlight that fast. Oh, okay. So yeah. you, you, you tell me to slow down. I'm just okay. kidding. Go ahead. Want to make a motion for 1275? Yep. And then, I'll second. And then okay. those in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, oh, and then uh, Central Mass. Central Mass. That was the nine hundred dollars. I want to just be clear what that was. So, nine hundred dollars for line fifty-four. Okay, and again, we're in sync. I'll make the motion. Aye. Aye. And okay. so now we're doing uh, planning board. Okay. Uh, I'm motioning seven two two seven. As it sits. Uh, yeah. As it. Just two seconds. One minute, Sean. Okay, I'll I'll make that motion. Well. Um, okay, so we, now have, we discussion. have discussion. Yeah, uh, so discussion would be if we're level funding to last year's level, it should be 3617. Correct. <clears throat> oh. I, uh, I, had not, I, I requested that it was not down to 1000 Okay, I went so. I before the advisory committee pled my case. They said that they would give me half of that because we did not have a clerk and we were not successful in getting one. And now it's, if I read this correctly, it's back down to 1000 and I was not notified of this latest cut. So, so Sharon, the different you were at, you you asked for thirty six seventeen, yes. And the number on this sheet now is carry is thirty five twelve. Thirty five twelve. Could you put thirty six seventeen and tell me what that total is, please? Thirty six seventeen. So my total comes to seven three three two. Okay, my motion seven. is seven three three two. Second. Uh, okay. Any all in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Okay. Excellent. Good. Let's go. All right. A little recruiting. Okay. Board of Appeals. Well, I just leaving the, it because we're not in agreement. I left the conversation open to the board. The oh, okay. Advisor board. We're going to leave it the way we have it. Okay. Okay. okay board so of Appeals. So we're, we're down to line 61, and we're in agreement at 1321. Yep. I make the motion. I'll second. second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay. Advisory board, I apologize. Did you have a revote on the wages? Are you still supporting just the thousand? This is back well, on line fifty-five. Yes, fifty-five. Okay. <coughs> yeah. You added I mean, in you got, like I, our thinking was, we they haven't had one in two, three years, so we said in, let it let it ride for mm -hmm. the money that we gave her, which would carry her to November, and then if she had the clerk. $1,000 May I finish speaking, please? Uh, I, Thank you. I'm sick of you people Dave, interrupting me. Okay? Dave, you understand? You too, Linda. The reason you were in the you were in the meeting, okay? Yes, we said I, to you that we'd give you a thousand dollars and if you needed more, we would give it to you in November. That's what we decided because you haven't had a clerk in three years and we keep rolling the money over. Okay. So you All have right. money that there. Was not the vote you took, That's that enough. Is the Stop. vote we took. No, it was not the vote you took. The vote you took, which this entire board agreed upon, was that it would give me yeah. half a year's salary, which is twelve. No, Sharon. Yes, it was. We took the vote again, that's it. and that's okay. what we came up that's with. That's it. Okay. Enough. Let's get it back in order here. It's getting out of hand. All right. So that that was our rationale of thinking. Uh, to give her that, and that would carry it to November. And if she finally got somebody, if she got someone as a clerk, then the money would. Well, she's give got it to somebody November. coming in. Okay. Okay. So we're line sixty-one. So thirteen twenty-one. If you want to I'll change, I'll make that that's motion. 
Second, Beth? Oh, oh, second. second, sorry. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 We're in agreement, so that's, we'll move on to the next. Okay. Again, we're at line 75, we're in agreement at 4429. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Print town report is the same. We're, we're in favor of that. We'll yep. make a Eight, motion on that. 1800. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And now we're in agreement on municipal heating fuel at $25,000 on line 77. I'll make the motion at $25,000. Oh, wait a minute. You've got, Karen, one sec. You, well, you said that um, was $25,000 enough? Okay, entertain a motion for the $25,000. You have that motion? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, so we're down and we're through line 77, we're okay. Okay. I wouldn't say okay. We have some dispute, but that's fine. Okay. So we have diesel, and again, we have, okay. uh, we have a disagreement mm -hmm. on 3000 bucks. so okay. I make a motion of uh, $20,000. Second. Okay, any discussion? No? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, municipal gasoline? 2680. Yeah. yeah. And again, we have a disagreement. I'll second it at 268820. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. The whole on um, general government here is. Uh, well, it'll. It's gonna be, I don't think we have to. No, we talk don't have to do one. that. We'll one talk one. public safety now. Public, okay. Public safety. All right. We have public safety. We have agreement at 433633. Actually, there was one that there was a disagreement on above. Do we want to get those cleared up? Because diesel fuel, gasoline, and uh, well, we just vote on. Okay. Are we, we just going to vote we, our We lives? select them. We're yeah. good. And okay. if, if the Got advisory it. board wanted to say something, I'm Jared. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, so, although I wasn't at the meetings for the uh, municipal diesel, and municipal gasoline things, it appears that the advisory board is going to fund those accounts. I was just wondering if they're just flying through and add money, why they're increasing in the two budgets? That was on the recommendation yeah. of the yeah. highway superintendent. Yeah, those were his. Costs have gone up. Yeah, costs have diesel gone up. Diesel. Yeah, both gas and diesel have gone up. Gas and diesel. Yeah. There's always I would like to point out, though, that it, they did reduce the municipal heating budget by 5000 to offset some of that. Well, how can, um, okay, thank you, Carrie. But how can you offset, how can you reduce municipal heating by $5,000 if everything has gone up? Because, Does heating because we're using gas. Up? Because we're using gas. Yeah, we're using, we're using gas. gas. We're using gas, yeah. And it has actually that's lowered our cost. That's a gasoline account. Yeah, but no, no, municipal no, heating no, is, 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 is natural, natural gas, gas now. now. Yeah. That's gas now. But the reason we did we reduced the municipal diesel fuel is because there's, as you know, the last meeting we're going to take a lot of there's a surplus in there all the time, constantly, and that's we would. If you remember last meeting, we were going to take a lot of money out of those funds. So the the biggest it's over budgeted. So we're the, trying to may I finish? Well, we may I finish talking, please? No, certainly. Uh, you you people okay, are unbelievable okay. here. All right. Let me let me say what I'm having to say. Okay. I don't care if you agree with me or not. And I, I mean, I don't care. When I go home, I'm going to be fine. We have, an, in the last two, three years, we've had an abundance of diesel fuel. So we reduced it a little bit. We ran it by the highway and Cindy, and they said that was fine. And now we still are going to have an abundance this year. And you, that's where you're going to go and pay some of these accounts that are over budgeted and that need money. That's the account you're going into right now, the municipal that, diesel. That so that's why we reduced it to begin with. Because we're trying to get these budgets more accurate. I mean, it's it's tough to do a budget, but no, it's municipal. It's coming out of the municipal, municipal, municipal heating, heating. heating. Yeah. not the and which we did reduce. But there's a there's a surplus in the diesel as well. But why did they request? They requested the twenty thousand and the twenty six eight zero. And we reduced it by three thousand. Oh, yes, but so, so still, Matt, and they still have plenty in there. So they still have fifteen thousand dollars in there Great. as of five twenty-three. But it doesn't mean they're going to have that next year because right. prices have gone up already on your prices fuel. Prices on diesel seven percent increase over last year. If they if there's still thirteen thousand left out of but, but what you're not taking right. into consideration is in sixteen the budget was twenty thousand. They reduced it to seventeen. We reduced it, yes. This year it's being requested at 20000 mm -hmm. 
And diesel is still pretty stable. And diesel, I mean, gasoline is being asked to fund from the prior year's balance. So while they did re reduce it last year, they're just going back to the prior year's budget. Right. So it's not really asking for an increase. We're asking for a, a, a same Level funding from two fund. years ago. Yeah, ma ma so your right. increase, and that's when gas wait, 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 wait. You've been asked to Dave, not interrupt. Please don't interrupt me. Um, so in those areas, there's a lot of fluctuation. You don't know if it's going to be zero degrees. You don't know if it's going to be 100 degrees. These are values that you cannot budget to the penny. It will never happen. And every year fluctuates. We are in New England. We know this. Why would you schedule yourself for a shortfall in t instead of anticipating uh, for expenses? Well, because if there's still almost two thirds of the budget in there right now for this year, why would you go that much over? There's it's not two thirds of a budget left. And I just got another $6,000 bill for electricity. So you are not seeing the budget all the way to the end of the year. Keep in mind, when these figures were reported to you and you're looking at your reports, there's still another month and a half of expenses to go. These departments all take that into account when they come up with these figures. So the numbers you're using right now to cal calculate these figures are not a complete year. Oh, I, I, I completely understand how calendar years work. Mm -hmm. I get all that, and I know that. But if it's that far down now, only a month and a half left, and even if there's 6,000, it's still 7,000 under. I just understand a 17% increase in diesel and a 27% increase in gas, that's all. That's again, what I was questioning. Again, going back to the prior year, mm -hmm. when their department was cut, they were asking to be brought back up to that level to accommodate for seasonal variances. Yep. But we, we're not figuring this to the penny carry. We're I understand that. We're still, we're it's gonna, impossible. We have never, ever underfunded this, and there's always been a huge surplus in these two lines. It's helped us balance the budget. I just, so yeah. I'm moving to line 110. We have a police and safety where both advisory and select board are in agreement at 43-3-6-33. The only difference being that the police station did um, ask for uh, two line items and the advisory board has asked that these two line items be combined. They are the same dollar amount. They're just asking them to be combined to one line item. No, what would those carry? Um, line 105 and 106. You'll see police expenses mm -hmm. request is 48,966 yeah. and police station expenses at 10,000. Oh, okay. Advisory just did that, uh, asked that we combine them all into police expenses rather sure. than splitting them out to two. If, if I may, I believe that, I, I could be mistaken, but I believe that that was actually what the chief had told us when he came in. He didn't know why he had two lines. It would okay. be easier for him if it was all under one. Perfect. So I believe that came, I think, from the chief himself, actually, Great. he asked us. I will add that as a note. Thank you. And the reason, the reason it was broken out originally is because one of those lines was basically for the rent over there right. at the police station. And we okay. no longer have that large amount of rent, and that was on one of those lines. Right. So gotcha. that's why we can combine them now, because okay. we don't have that. Uh, monthly rental fee makes my life easier. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so we so we do agree on the police. I'll yes. make a motion to combine. And second. Okay. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. All right. So now we have fire department. Where do we need to vote the total line for police? Did we vote that? Yeah, we did. Yeah, okay. we did. Yeah. So um, what we have on fire department is an eighty three nine seventy six, and advisory is at one oh eight. So before we talk about why are we in such disconnect? I don't quite understand myself. What's your what question? We are disconnected by $24,000. Why is there an increase? Well, we want to add money, we'll have a discussion. All right, so here's, here's a discussion. Uh, Peter came to us and asked us to please start paying the firefighters to go put their life on the line and walk and burn buildings. We had a very long discussion. They asked for $16 an hour. They asked to raise their training pay from 12 to $16 an hour. After having a nice long discussion about it, I, I think a very healthy discussion between our board and Peter, um, we had asked to meet in the middle at $14 an hour for training and for all calls. This will, this will pay every firefighter that steps on a truck and goes to an accident, a building, a brush fire, anything. I, you know, we decided that as a board that was prepared to pay these guys, you know, I think these guys should at least be able to afford life insurance for their families. So that's the reason for the increase. And that's what we're asking for from the 
Okay. So you're asking so, so, in. Yeah, they're going to pay for calls previously, district. So I make a motion that we make be number 108816. But did you get clarification on how many hours he suspected there would be? Yes. What he did was he did a balance of her. But he, he requested 80 calls, times. Average of people per call, Here. and he, he gave Here. an estimated time of about an hour and a half to two hours, I think it was, per call, knowing that some calls were eight hours, but a lot of calls were half hour, some of them are gotten back or whatever. So he, he broke it down very, he had broken down very well. He did it. He had a good estimate over three years. You guys have that in front? Yes. Okay. Okay. It's not a spreadsheet, it's all. Yeah, it's all. It's in Word. The other thing, you know, the, the, there's a bit of, there's a lot of discussion because he was also saying, I'm budgeting for eight people showed up to every damn thing. Okay, well, we're going, well, can three show up rather than eight? Right. And he's saying, well, you know, you never know which three and stuff right. like this. in the afternoon, you're going to get less. Well, so that's so sort of sad. Sad. Yeah. 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 It was this sort of conversation, and that's where that number came from. That, so, so that seems like, you know, that's, you know, it's $24,000 increase. We tried to take as many variables as possible to make sure that we were funding it as best we could to make sure we're covering it. Um, I think this is something that if we find that it's it's getting dipped in hard because we end up with a lot of emergencies in town, then maybe we, you know, if we have to come November, we, if we have to look at it again, we can. But I think that judging by the data that was given us by Chief Martel and judging by the conversation that the board had with them, I believe that this will be really close to what we need. So does this include medical calls as well? This is fire department. This is fire. Fire. If the fire department has to have to respond to a car accident, then if that, that's a medical call usually, then yes, they get paid because they may have to do the jobs of life or anything. That's why they got it. Yeah, or right. anything they have to do or something like that. But it's only for if they are toned out for a fire emergency, that's when they get paid. That's it. So for our firefighters, they they didn't previously get life insurance for being volunteers. There's nothing like that at all. Well, I, I, I don't know what they get for life insurance for the town. I don't know. When I was a firefighter 20 years ago, 22 years ago, we got a very small life insurance policy, I think $4,000 or $5,000. Uh, per guy to the town, I believe. Mm. Uh, I don't know if the that's still around. No, no. accidental death. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Changed. So, yeah, so I mean, it, it's, you know. So, all this help fire. I'm going to put my big ass in coffee and send coffee on the side. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I'm just saying, it's, it's, it's just not like. I mean, I just, you know, I, the argument was made that they're volunteers, they volunteer for the town. There's a lot of different, you know, there's a lot of different discussion going on, you know. We as a board didn't agree on every point all the way through it either. We all kind of went back and forth on it. But at the end of the day, I mean, to me, I just think it's what's right. I was a firefighter, I understand. So yep. maybe, maybe I have a little more passion, but I just think it's a good thing. It gets I'm up. just curious, um, does this mean that you are looking at a fully paid Fire department? No, 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 no. no actually, oh, Madam Chair, if, if I may, if I'm following Tony's proposal correctly, so it, there's a lot of different structures you can use with, with fire departments. You, you can have full timers, you can have full timers and regular part timers, you can have full timers and paid call. Currently, technically, ours are unpaid call, but they receive a training, they receive payment for training, but they they don't re receive payment for calls. Um, so this would basically. Our structure would stay stay the same, a fully on-call department. Okay. okay. But that those on-call hours would be fully compensated whenever they basically show up at the firehouse for an official purpose, that they, that, that would be paid time. That's my question though. So right. you're talking from moving from a volunteer fire department. Well, they've never they've never been to volunteer. Paid. They've always been on call. It's a call. They always were so wrong. I'm just trying to clarify. Let me, let me explain how the, how the how this how this reads out. A volunteer department, nobody gets paid at all. Yeah. We were paying this guy's twelve thousand hour train. We're automatically a call department at that point. Mm -hmm. So our the cost of the department does not change at this point mm -hmm. because they're already a call department because we're paying on the train. If we weren't paying them to do anything and they just showed up and then they paid never collected a paycheck, you know, I, and we've done this it's always been done somehow for years and we've always been because even I don't know if they still get it or not, but the state forestry unit used to pay so much an hour for any forest fire. Yeah, so I was going to. I was going to bring that up. Got like a thirty dollar check every year. That made us a volunteer hmm? department. Yeah, please so, understand, I'm not opposed oh, no, 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 to this. I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Oh no, 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 I'm just like, and and I only know this because 
Chief Martel broke this down for us. I didn't know that before either. So I'm just letting you know that's the difference because that's what he said to us. Okay. It's not going to make us go from volunteer to call. We're already called to get paid. Mm -hmm. So I just want to explain to you our classification won't change in any way. Okay. Um, and that comes from the chief. Okay. Will this affect our grant money at all or matching funds? No, no we're positive. No, because no. no, it's because our classification stays the same, and most of our grant funds are based off of age of equipment, size of the community, income of the community. Most of the grant um, qualifications are, are run strictly off of criteria that have nothing to do with whether you're you've got a paid or a, okay. uh, on call department. Thank so. you, everybody. Okay. For your okay. Thank you. I think every Monday night when there's training, there's going to be a lot of guys with incentive to come train. Yep. The bargain can't pay for training. The bargain can't pay for now, right? Yeah. So, if that's going to make a difference to you, that's awesome. you're going to be better in person than you don't know why. But then you get paid right along for training all the way along. I think what this will help is get some younger guys to actually perhaps join the department, not to yep. make a presumption, but when you take a look at the average tenure on the fire department, we, we need to encourage some additional. Line 130. Yes. Sir. I'm sorry. That's quite So we're, we're here at line 130, telephone contract, leases, we're at 11 5, both in agreement. Yep. Make I'll the look. motion. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're down to line 143. We're in agreement at 16, 749. Okay. I'll, make, I'll make the motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're down to uh, line 153. We're in disagreement. Uh, requested 44, 1660. Advisory at 43, 3, 4330. And that's from the 2% bacon, so we actually need to adjust our numbers to the uh, advisory numbers. Okay, so. We gave him one and he requested. So I'm doing 39. Level funded. Yeah. And he, put, he must have put a percentage in, yeah. Okay, so Kerry's going to correct yeah. line 150. So I'll, make, I'll make a motion at 4330. Okay. 43. I'm sorry. You're going to change line 150 to 30, not reflect. 90, yep. yep, to 3990. And then 151 to 340. Yeah. 340? Yeah, 153 is now 4330. So that's okay. Okay. So we're all good on that? We're all good on that. Okay. So now we're going to move to line 163. Uh, we're in slight agreement, close agreement anyway. We're, we're motioning 4750, advisory at 4712. There's a $38 difference. Is that salary again? Yeah. Uh, it's, that's only a 96% increase. My thought is that he's just rounding. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we should, we should reflect the 4712? Yes, yes, that's what right. my opinion was. So doing. the okay. Board of Selectmen's recommendation is 4712. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're now down to line 172. We're in agreement at 7450. Make the I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're down to line 183. We're in agreement 7612. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Control. All, All right, animal control. So we're in agreement on line 193 at 8465. I'll make the motion. Second. Those in favor, suggest by saying aye. 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 We're good there. So we're now moving down to line 196. We're in agreement at $350. Okay, I'll make that motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. aye. We're okay there. Line 197, uh, Tree the recommendation was 16, uh, $16,040, advisory is at 15. I'll, Any, make, I'll make the motion at 16.40. Okay. I'll second that. And so, discussion? No. Discussion, I'll, David? Tree, tree warden? Yeah. 197. No. Tree warden expenses. Down to The, uh, I believe the reason why we're able to find that is because um, the price of the warden has gone up again, I think. Is that right? Yeah, the hourly wages for the hourly cost for the contractor. The contractor. contractor. Yeah. Yeah. So you. 
We're spending a lot of money on trees. We have a lot of trees. <laughs> 90, 90 trees a year. So uh, I may, let's just make the motion 16 and 40. I'll second. Yeah, and then those in favor. All in favor, aye. 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 All right. Uh, shade tree, tree expenses, we're in disagreement. At, uh, my motion would be $2,500. I'll make the second. motion. Any comment? No, um, no we, we reduce it because the shade tree account never gets used. Right. They're not using it. I mean, so we, we put it down to what we did. Okay. I just wrote a large check out of shade tree expense, so um, I believe that account has less money in it now. That's why we reduced it. Okay. And they're spending it now, so that's good. What are they spending it on? Yeah. It's obviously shade trees. She said she got a bill. Yeah, okay. but there's still money left in there. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm down to line uh, 350. Uh, we're in agreement at 4660284 I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We're now down to uh, line 410, highway. Um, my recommendation, uh, 244. Two hundred forty-two thousand eight hundred one fifty-four. We need to go. We need to go uh, visit, yep. revisit that because there's salary baked salary. in. There's baked in uh, wage changes. Yep. So, What's up? Yeah. Explain so, that. So to us. here. Yeah, we're going back. We're backing it out. Yeah, the four hundred, right? Line four hundred. Four ten, and we're going back to four hundred. Correct. So, so car carry the fifty-five three sixty-eight had an increase in wages in in it percentage increase uh, it's only 1.84 percent so I don't know how he um, it's a it's a thousand dollars difference so that would not represent a cola no. adjustment they've also added an operator have they not oh is uh, that what that yeah that one we need to figure <coughs> out yeah. 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 back yeah, in with the wages down, don't they don't they that's seasonal worker? No, no this nope. is highway operators line nope. 401. Nope. There is a seasonal at 405. Yeah. This yeah, is highway. So we, let's go back. Is there a typo? Carrie? I do not believe so. Well, let me get the paperwork. Well, that's the only explanation I see is it's a typo. Now, which line are you referring to? Four, 400. 400. What about 401? I haven't got there. I haven't got there yet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, um, no, the word, oh, oh, that, my apologies, it is a typo. See? Good deal. <laughs> yeah. Not an issue anymore. We match. Yay. All right. So we match up 400. So then it's, is, in the case of uh, four, 401. Well, what's line 400? Let's go back to everybody knows. 54, 54 368. Okay. 54 368, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And so now we're on line 401. Yeah. You guys understand that it's a typo? Yes. For four, four, 400. Yeah. Now 401. No, 400. 400. Was no, a typo. Four, with a typo. 400 was a typo. Now we're on 401, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So what I did on 401 is I put their 2% value, so I'll adjust that. Okay. So it should be seven. So we're going to go back to the. Um, well, it should seven, tell us 2% a second. 29. So I am at. Yeah, so that we're in agreement there. Uh, which okay. are, What's the number? Fifty-two. Uh, the highway requested eighty thousand three seventy-one twenty. 3720 Advisory rounded it down to twenty cents. So okay, tell so me which way to go. Eighty thousand seven thirty-two. Seven thirty-two. Yep. Uh, three seventy-two. Three seventy-two. Yes. Yep. Eighty thousand three seventy-two. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. Got it, right. Dave. Yeah. So okay. we're in agreement right. there. I'm liking it. That's fine. All right. That's, so what was that? Oh, they somebody added something into it. Okay. All right. Did we have the same thing in line 402, Carrie? Uh, 402, I have. Yes, because yeah, there was so many crossing thing. off so, on this one. Yeah. So five, it's hard to two, follow. 5248. So 5248, five, five, so we're in agreement on that. 
And then are we also, no, th these are the extra hours that are requested. That's what, the line 403 are requested extra hours. What's 402 now? What did you? Uh, 5248. 5248. Yeah, okay. So we just crossed those. The out. highway, okay. no. Right, and so in the case of line 403, we're looking at extra hours, as if I, my memory is yeah. correct. Yes. So we're going to continue with 1880, yeah. 840-256. Uh, nope, that was including the 2%. Okay, so, so can you help? So she 18473.10. Do you want me to round that? Please. To 73? Yeah. So, okay, we're so at line 403 is now 18473. And that's for the increase of her four hours. That's correct. Yep. Okay. And that yeah. does not include any adjustment, oh. any coal adjustments. Correct. So now we're at line 404, highway police <coughs> flaggers. They're at 3570. Advisory is at 1750. Uh, we're at 405, uh, 405. Yep. Seasonal worker is 14. 14560. And that's what it was last year. Advisory's off by 1,040. On 404, yep. 3,500, not 3,570, because that's 2%. Yeah. Yep, I'll change it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, now you're on line 405? Now we're on line 405. Yep. Okay. And it's level funded from one to the next. Advisories a thousand different. No, okay, you gotta be very careful now because the bylaws we discussed this. The bylaw states only six months of a seasonal worker can't go over it. So, however, you allocate that figure, that's where it's got to be. I thought the discussion on that was the pay rate. No, we didn't. It can only work six, only work X number of hours times what yep. they're getting, yep. and that's for six months only. Yep. Okay, and so he's he's suggesting fourteen five sixty as he did a year ago, and that's what's. And it went up a dollar an hour, I believe. Okay. So I'm now down to highway expenses. So it's what do you want? So uh, backing up on the seasonal worker, what are you at right now? Fourteen five sixty. Fourteen five sixty. Which is Right. Is that still? Does that fall in line with the six months? Huh. It's, well, well, that, that, that it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter because that it might not be one person. Seasonal worker is a seasonal worker account. One, one, no, it, it is one person. To one worker for six months. Yes. Well, that's we just, our, that's our we just signed the wage authorization for that. Yeah. It's one person. One person for six months. Yeah, for six yes. months. You yeah. can't go over six months. Okay, so we're at fourteen five sixty. Okay. All right. T highway expenses. It's sixty thousand six hundred. We're in agreement. Uh, we have the highway certifications at 930. We're in agreement. We have bridges, rails, and signs. We're at 1600. We're in agreement. So Carrie could have a new number at Wait, line 410. Question. Yep. Do we want to put that dollar in for the private roads? Yes. Yes. Is is it in the warrant article or is it here? It's in the warrant for 15,000. Right. It's in the one article for 15. 15. Well, they've, I believe they've agreed to reduce that to the dollar. They just want to make sure the line item is stay, is kept open. Okay, so you're going to put a line in yep. the so 400? Yep, so your new total, yep. 239652. Okay. So Carrie, I make, Carrie, was that line taken up for the dollar in there? No, it's line 408. No, line 408. Okay. 408. Okay. It was okay. just left blank there? until we discussed the agenda. Okay, I, yep, good, okay. Okay. Make a motion to accept that? Uh, yeah. I'll second. Well, that's the 29, uh, 239, has got the buck in it, Carrie? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It does. All, in, so all in favor? It's going to be changed. Aye. 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 I just wanted to make a note on um, line 406 highway expenses. That currently includes things like jackets and shirts and vests and all that other stuff. Just because now there's also an article asking for money, and which includes things that we already have included mm -hmm. in the highway expense account. They'll so. have to explain it at the warrant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, line 415, snow and ice, 7575. So we're in agreement. 
I make the motion at 75. Second. Okay, I'll second that. Those in favor? All in favor, aye. 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 All right, so covered line 415, line 420. We have street lights at 12.5. I'll make that motion. Second. All, all, all in favor? Aye. 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 Cemetery wages. Cemetery wages. Are we? Yep. Looks like we're flat. So yeah. we're in agreement at twenty nine nine fifty eight. I'll make the motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Very good. Okay. So that through line four fifty, we're pretty much in agreement. Okay. Here it comes. Wow. That's the oh, weather. The storm. Yeah. yeah. Second, let me get organized I crawl here. Crawl under the table, nobody panic. No, we won't, we won't <laughs> panic. Just the apocalypse. You're talking to tornado victim here, and yeah, it's not tomorrow's funny. date. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah not cool. Thanks for that panic, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out. I'm now at line 500. I'm not going to make it. Up. So we're at line 500, 506, uh, 15464. We're in agreement. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Yeah. Uh, we're now down to line 513. We're in agreement at 130, 130. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're now 520, community health program, 950, 950. So we're in agreement. I'll um, make, you got the motion? I'll make the motion. Second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Council on All right, so now we're down to line 534. Uh, we have 4699. We're in agreement. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're down to line 544. Uh, 59875. We're in agreement. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we're now down to cultural and recreation. We have an agreement at line 606 uh, for library at 17650. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're now down to line 612. We're in agreement at 9350. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're now at 620 Historical Commission. We're in agreement at 1155. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Down to Memorial Day, line 630. We're in agreement at 3286. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. I'd like to back up for one little second. Yep. Just to school, line 300. Yep. There's no, we got school committee salary, but there's nothing in there, no number in there for salaries. It, it's included in their expenses. Because of the way that they submit their budget to the town. Okay. Okay, we're at line six. Oh, that was a grand total. So we're now down to, I guess, grand total for. Ooh, no, I gotta go back. No, I don't have to go back because that's the total. So now we're at line 750. <clears throat> and we have. Uh, no, aren't we at uh, six, no, four, 640. Six. Oh, I, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Cultural Council expenses at 8666. We're in agreement. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. And then that's a total, so we'll skip the total. Now we're going to go down to uh, a total for, uh, because we're in agreement, I'm going to go down to line 750 at 187,587.25. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'm going to now move to line 800, Worcester County Retirement. We're in agreement at 251,653. I'll make the motion. Second. Aye. Aye. Okay, I'm going to unemployment insurance at 810. Uh, I need a final figure on that. Oh, yeah, that's been. Um, these are not negotiated wages uh, uh, figures. These are things that we need from the state. Okay. So I'll make sure I have those. Okay. Um, I do okay. have a call in. Okay. But I didn't get it back today. So line 810 is open. And now we're on And to then we're into 820. And again, uh, we're in agreement at four. Uh, yeah, we go ahead. Yeah, I'd like, I'll make the motion, but I'd like to have some discussion. I'll okay, make. so we'll go. Uh, the motion is for 46, uh, 460,200. We have a second. Second. Okay, okay. we're discussing. Okay. Uh, Holly, is that going to be enough 
with the group because you know we always have new people coming on on the group on the uh, group health and life insurances it went up some so is that going to be enough in there we need to increase it a yeah. little bit oh, in increase it a little bit yes. more yeah. so not the exact is from last is year. From last, from last year. year. I've included those calculations. The 4.21 percent are included in the 460 thousand dollar. Okay, so that is enough. Then. Okay. Okay. Because okay. I know and, some and years we some years we have run short on that, and I just wanted to make sure there was enough money yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. That, that that's one, Madam Chair, if, if I may, um, if if we could just ask you guys to kind of just monitor that budget so that we're keeping an eye on it. If we do need to adjust it to special, we can, because I know that's one of the things we've addressed previously. I did have a quick question for you, and I apologize. We voted the line already, but the uh, the uh, police station um, principal uh, appears to be double the prior year. Did we finance using a different term? That's, that's yep. an agreement that was set up at the finance terms right. of the loan. Okay, it was Just set checking. to increase this year and double. Great, thank you. Yep. Okay. So we need to vote line eight twenty. Okay. Any all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're now at line 830 General at 47,000. This yeah. carry is still open? Yes, still open. Okay. And then we're at general insurance, 141, uh, 141,100. We're in agreement. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We're at total. No, that's a total. So I'm going to move to water department. And what we have is line 906. We're not in agreement. Uh, and the, I'll recommend one hundred and ten thousand eight fifty five seventy six. I um, believe that includes the. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. The three percent in their salary. Could you fix yeah. that for us? Let's yes. fix that. Am I right, Holly? Yeah, it is. Your figures are so that right. So then the one hundred nine three eighty seven is correct. No, because I need some clarification on the superintendent, Holly. Did that include a COLA increase also? Because I don't know what his base is. We did, we did include an increase in his also. Okay, so I'll adjust that figure. Yep. And what was used for the increase, 2% or 3% in his? It looks like 2%. 2% is the 257. So yeah, that comes out to be 57 if it's level funded. Yeah, I'll just wait till oh. Carrie gives us a. Uh, <laughs> this is one of those backwards calculations. It's going to take me a minute. Okay. Well, at, at, at calculated at 0.98, it comes out like um, 56,997. So I'm assuming the 57,000 is correct. What? Yeah, 50, uh, 50, yeah, it should be the 57,000, and then it should be uh, 11,188 should be the two numbers. How about secondary operator? Yeah, secondary. Oh, that's got to come out too. Yeah, so that's yeah, 50. That's a new position. Yeah. yeah, there's no no increase in that. Are you at a total yet, Carrie? Uh, 109.492. 109.492. Mm -hmm. So I make a motion for line 906 at 109.492. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any discussion? No? Okay. So we'll move down to operating budget on line 950, 7, 810, 891, 22. Your new total. Oh, 
Yeah, our new total is? Seven million eight hundred four thousand one hundred twenty-seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Could you repeat that one more time, please? Seven million yeah. eight hundred four yeah, eight one twenty-seven twenty-five. Okay. Oh, emergency squad. We've got two more lines down here. So, uh, line two hundred and fifty. Uh, 214 893 is my motion. I'll make the motion. Second. Second. Yeah. And then, um, well, we got a difference of two grand. Oh. Mr. Chairman, any discussion on line 210, 250? Any discussion on line 250? There's a $2,000 difference. I don't know why that's it. We, we, didn't, uh, we didn't question that at all. Okay, thanks. All right, so those in favor of 214 893? I'll make Aye. that motion. Second. Aye. All in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Not bad. We had more in agreement than we thought. Yeah. So then the question is back to salary. Our uh, wage increases. You ready to open a discussion on that? I'm ready to open a discussion. Okay, on C that. CPI ranges anywhere from 1.8 to 2.2, depending on whether you deal with nationally, locally, whatever. It's in that range. Mm -hmm. So what that what that's su suggesting to keep employees whole, the number should be somewhere around two percent, which suggests uh, something around fifteen thousand one hundred ninety-eight dollars in addition to what we've already talked about. And what's your percentage? Two. Two. Two percent. Two. It should, what, what should happen, Carrie, and I'll give you this, it should come up to be about 15,198. I'm just adding here, but thank you. Yep. 15,198. And that's talking two percent. Yeah, they, they go together. I'll add that. You're those, are, sure. those, are, those are the lines that are uh, that I thought were affected. Okay, great. I think that's a fair increase. Two percent. May I keep this? Question? Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Any comment on 2%? That's in the town votes on, right? Yep. Yeah. Recommendation of the second. Yeah, it's a recommendation. Water okay. department? Yeah. 109, okay. So we're in favor. We're going to yeah. make a recommendation. So the motion is to recommend a 2% increase in wages. I'll I'll second. Make, I'll make the motion. Uh, that's seconded. Yeah, I thought yeah, I thought you were making it. I apologize. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So we okay, yes, Bob. Bob. Oh. Just a point of order. Uh, I'm thinking they've gotten uh, they've gotten their two percent over the past couple of years. Three percent in the last three years. Okay. Three years. Is there a is there a trend line that can be developed? to show us what that is over a certain period of time and are we sort of in a... Uh... Those are the figures that Clarence provided. It's uh, national. No, 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 no. He's asking a different I'm question. Looking, I'm looking at it from the point of view of a trend line. Okay. To say, mm -hmm. for instance, over the past five years, you've had X amount of percentage increase over. This is how much it's cost the town. Oh, yeah. I, I could certainly do something okay. like that. So one five years ago, asked me added on here four, yeah. three, yeah. two. Right. And, and from, does that match talent, I know this is getting esoteric now, but does this match what that we fit into the same size town and other places of what they've got? So, 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 they so what happens is when you throw yeah. out two percent, it, it's it's a very abstract number. When you when you add them on a trend line 
and you come up with the fact that, well, we got 2%, but over the past five years, we've gotten a quote-unquote 10% raise over that. Is that a legitimate? Madam, a Madam legitimate Chair, number? can I? I'm not voting against doing let, let's say I, I just think that intellectually, it's a fair, it's a fair the, people have to be aware of, of what a trend line looks like and what the impact is, because from the assessor's office, we're getting beat up on, well, we just raised the, 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 the tax rate by 12%. And we have fixed income individuals and you know all that whole thing. I know I'm preaching to the choir right now. Yep. So I'm just thinking that we should be able to demonstrate some way that we're, we're not going overboard or we're, we're uh, or, or are we an outlier or are we sort of we're we're an outlier. Can I use my CPI agreement? Uh, whatever mm -hmm. towns are. If you want, you can go first if yes. you want. Okay. okay. Let's well, go to the towns the C too. Yeah. You know. And if if I could add, um, that's a common. It has been for, the, for as long as I've been here. That's a common argument, and it's and it's well intentioned. But of what other towns are doing and what other towns are doing, and unfortunately, um, we have to go by what we can afford as well. That has to be a consideration as well. Um, okay. So because other towns. Even the same size, it's not always about size. You know, it's about what do they have. Yeah, but you, you can't. Know? The only reason I'm saying is that towns of same size is you, you're not going to compare our town with Worcester. No, right? no, no. Or Shrewsbury or something yeah. like that. So you yeah. got you to put it in, in perspective. Yeah. Can I help him? Sure. But, 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 Bob, if you go on, pardon me, Mark. That's okay. If you go online, clear government, the two and a half folks. It's cleargovernment.org or something like that. You can go on and you can look at Brookfield and the six co communities around us and what we're doing. We're on the low end of that spectrum. Okay. The second piece that I would give you is that from a CPI perspective, yes, the last year or so things have gotten better. So this 1.8, 2.2-ish thing, the 2% yeah. is kind of keeping everybody whole. If you go back five years with CPI because of the, the recession and the like, it was down to minus two tenths. Right. So it went from that. So I think that your trend line, and again, I'm more than happy to work with Carrie to provide a chart like that, but you were really, the 2008, 2009 timeframe when everything tanked, you were actually low and you were, you actually didn't right. give. And now in recent years, you've been able to give, which is terrific. But again, I, I would, suggest looking at that chart to see where we are. Yeah, and, and, and one thing I think we also need to make sure that we're clear is that we didn't raise taxes, because uh, I thought I heard you say that we raised taxes 12%. It was 0.12 no, it was mil. To, right. So so we're talking about um, you know a 0.6% increase in the tax rate. You're right. OK. But, uh, and I get it. But, I get But the perception at the ground level is that 1960 a, a penny is too much is per thousand yep. on a fixed income in comparison yep. to right. some other places. But but some That's right. But so, some of the things to make sure that you yeah. take into consideration when you look at the abutting communities or like communities, mm -hmm. and actually it's easier to look at the DOR website mm -hmm. with the oh, with really? the comparison report because you can actually pull you can actually pull data that's based off of. Uh, household income, you can pull it off of average tax bill, you can pull it off of a number of different metrics that that perhaps better represent the community than, than some of the information oh, yeah. that's on, on ClearGov. Yeah. So, like Clear so, <laughs> so if, you, if you need any help developing that, or if Carrie needs any help developing that, I can send her some of the analysis I've done over the years. We really should. I, I, I'll use the DOR figures. Okay. Okay. assumptions in this town anyway. They haven't been increased. I've been here still at 175 and uh, Is that set by the town or is that set by Mass General Law? Because um, the veteran right? one is set by Mass General oh, the, Law. Oh, yes. It's Mass General Law, but the town has to adopt it. That you can adopt different versions of it. Like, okay. They can go up to 1000 but 175 on a $1,000 tax bill is yeah. not enough. Yeah, because of the information from the assessor. Yeah, so this is a good discussion. So. I guess I get that. I don't say anymore. I guess I'm just saying that the town meeting has, I think, a, a good way to educate the populace of, of, of looking at some of these numbers because, in reality, they're very abstract yeah. to the average town person. Right. And when you bounce it off other matrices and stuff like that, uh, then, it, then it, 
I think it behooves us to educate the population. That's all. I, I agree. I've, I've talked to a lot of people in town who, or you know, who have been asking questions about it and asking if we're going to give increases this year or not. And I told them, you know, that's what the town to vote on. But you know, a lot of people are really concerned that if we, you know, that's why I was saying like the cumulative of it. You know, they want to see how much it's costing the town overall. You know, the, the thing I hear from everybody is I don't get a raise every year. You know, I, I'm not raising you myself, so people have their own sales, it doesn't matter. But, but uh, you know, not every you know, most people don't get raised every year, so I think it would be good for the council to at least have the knowledge to know what they're doing. That's all. And if they vote for it, excellent. So, do we have anything else to bring up this evening? I do. Article uh, 18. Is there anything? 18. Right. I thought we voted to table this to yeah. fall, Dave. Yeah, we're going to table this to No, but originally before we decided to do that, you said you were going to take this article and you were going to rewrite it talking about some kind of fleet account or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it's you didn't. You were gonna re, You were gonna reword this article. Eight, eighteen. Yeah. What is it? I don't it's still on there. The way it's written. But you said you were gonna do something. Maybe we put something in the fleet account rather than putting the whole two hundred up there. Right now, right now the way it reads, if we vote this in, we're gonna come up with two hundred thousand for a new truck. No, but we're we're talking about passing over this though until the. Well, I'm just saying the way the article reads right now. Yeah. Right, the motion will say. The motion, the motion yeah, if will that say. that happens, though, but I'm saying you said you were going to rewrite this differently than it is here tonight. Right, but yeah. we're going to table. it was not rewritten differently, so I'm bringing that up to the board tonight. Well, we're going to table this to we're the fall, table. and then we'll probably rewrite it. Yeah. So well, that's what you're saying. You, that's what you're saying to me now, but I'm just reading the way it is right here. It yeah. It still be voted on going right. forward. Sure. So with the recommendation of the Board of Selectmen, Selectmen, I believe, and if we have to take a vote, I'll take it, and is that we're going to table the motion. That's going to be your that's, recommendation. That's your recommendation, but it the way this... the right. town will follow it. That's correct. Well, that's I would hope... We're getting into some dangerous waters here because you originally said you were going to do something differently, and now it's not written that way. That's, that's, so that's my question to you tonight. To see if the town will face well, it. Well, this, this is posted. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's open. Open. No, no, it's it open. Appropriate transfer borrows some of money. It's very clear. It's written right here. That right. means if we take a vote at that at that meeting and You're everybody absolutely. says yes, that means we're going to come up with two hundred thousand. You're absolutely right. Okay, but you said at the other meeting that you were going to have this rewritten, rewritten before the, the new. Well, article this no, the, the 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 values underneath are only guidelines. Those are not part of the Beth, warrant. It says two hundred thousand in the that's, article. That's okay. No, it doesn't. But no. that's not. But that's not on the regular warrant, Dave. It's not on the posted warrant. This is on ours that we've okay. done. Okay. What's on the posted warrant? The posted warrant is. There's no double. It's no okay, but it's still on the articles. They can still vote. Everybody out there is going to know. Right. Anybody that's in the know I is just going to know that that $200,000 figure has been floating around. So it's conceivable that the town could decide to do that. That's what he's saying. That he's he's could, correct. So right. it could happen. Water, water, water over the dam. Well, we're saying no, it's not water over the dam because we haven't got to the dam yet. But it's not incorporated. It's not incorporated <laughs> into the. We it's not incorporated into the ward oh, article. That, that <laughs> That that, that's this posted. isn't posted. This isn't posted. And then we also had something that came from the Capital Improvement Committee. They've already met. Okay. And, and they don't... Um, yeah, they postponed till they fall. They postponed it also. They have put recommended passing it over until they can analyze the need and the options. Which I think is... Which, which I suggested that myself with that point. That's mm -hmm. good. But I'm just saying the way it's written right here. Right now... Mike's the way trying to talk. Oh, Mike? Just, just a quick question. Uh, so is the select board all in agreement that uh, they're going to propose to the town that we wait to spend any money on capital expenditures until the fall? That's your recommendation? Yes. My recommendation. Yep, that's my recommendation. Why don't we have a vote on that? Okay, I'd like to. I'll, I'll have a motion that we're, from a capital improvement mm -hmm. that we're going to hold off until fall. Is that going to be on free pass certified anyway? No. I will make that. Um, I made the motion I'll for you. I'll second the motion. I'll 
Second it and I'll ask any discussion. I concur. All in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah. Now on to the next thing. You said the free cash won't be certified, correct? Not at this time, no. no. Okay, Not so what about these meeting. articles? How is all these articles going to pan out? That's why we voted to we, pass over. Yeah, we're going to pass them over. Okay. So the only the, thing we will do will be non money articles. Non money well, articles. Well, and we can, and we'll do the budget. And, right, right. right. Yeah. Okay. But that, that's going to be our recommendation. We, we need to make sure we go into the town meeting, however, with a clear understanding of where we are vis a vis mm -hmm. the levy limit. Because just in I case we have a movement from the, like just in case we have a, yes. Yes. Pardon me. Okay. So we're, because of that question, right. I'm thinking we, we add a new, uh, new wrinkle to the meeting where we take a whiteboard yep. and we write that number up and yep. every time yep. we make a change or do something about it the carry goes and yep. scratches it out and puts the new number so we're very yep. clear all the way through the meeting what we're where talking we about where yep. we stand yeah i would agree yeah so, and cindy cindy's got one for us to use carries carries the scribe do have a projector Brent does the, yeah, the school yeah, does. Yeah, but that's it. It doesn't yeah. project well. The, no, well, I mean we can. Well, I'm just thinking. I yield to Carrie. Carrie, Carrie, I yield to you. Carrie is the expert. You you decide whether mm -hmm. PowerPoint works or will fail. Failing that, we'll have a whiteboard. Well, I'm not thinking PowerPoint. I'm thinking project um, the Excel straight up. Just there. an Excel that I can manipulate so the town can see me manipulate it. Yeah. Yep. So I yield if to we you. have a projector that we can use, I'll, I'll try they to get have, that situated. They have that at the school. I have one too. You tell us what you need. Okay. I would prefer the projector over a whiteboard. Is yep. that acceptable? Yes. Yep. How does that project now with the colas? Now with, you know, I'm sorry? How is that how do, how are you gonna handle the colas with not not knowing where we're at? We're gonna I, I'll project it onto the screen so I can show the and, calculation. And she'll change the calculation as she goes, and that way it'll show right there where Every we're Every change yep. we make, you'll be able yep. to see it on the screen. David asked a different question. Right? Yes. Okay. So David's question was, how are you going to handle the COLA? What we're going to do is, we're, as we did tonight, we're going to read down the recommendation of the Board of Selectmen mm -hmm. that's on the sheet. Uh, just pretty much how we just did yeah. it. Just how we did it. And, and with that, there will be some disputes. You have some differences of opinion. You'll, have, you'll put a hold on that line. We will come back to those lines. We will discuss the holes. And then we will then clear the bottom, bottom line. We will, at that time, discuss um, what you're calling COLA, but I'm going to call a salary increase. Um, and we will discuss it at that time. I will be motioning my recommendation of 2%, which mm -hmm. translates to 15,000 something. And that's what my recommendation will be. And at that time, that will be a motion on the floor. And Carrie would be able to then adjust these for the 2%. That's my suggestion. I think it's a good idea to do it that way. Okay. Um, one of the things we'll, we'll have to make certain about, though, is that we're starting from the right base number because we have the levy plus state aid plus local receipts is that starting budget number plus whatever we vote to transfer from ambulance just so that we're working from the right base number. So, so and again, again, Brenda's work and, and certainly the assessor's work, are we able to demonstrate that we've got the extra that we have? And I see a nod in the right direction, so I'm, I'm pleased that that's the case. Thank you. Because as of last calculation, last, over the last two years, we've got $200,000 in that pocket. I pray that we continue to have yes. that kind of money. But yet our taxes keep going up. Ooh, well, oh, we, we, have to, we, have, we have to talk That's about that. Word. We have to talk about that. Anyway, okay. but Madam Chair, what else is on the list tonight? Yeah. That's it. We, yeah. I, if there's nothing else on the list, I make a motion that we adjourn. Contain a motion. What? Need that tomorrow. Post it tomorrow. Okay. So if you all can come in early and sign it, the council's coming at 11. Okay. We're going to get it posted. Okay. Good deal. So now I'll motion. Okay. Now wait, I'll wait, motion. Wait, wait. I just want to make a statement. I'm sorry. I just want to make a general statement um, regarding the um, state of affairs and employees with the town and not going into too much detail. I feel that um, 
The financial department of this town hall has been under extreme scrutiny lately, yes. and unfairly so. You people are looking at a team of three people who are now doing the work of four and cleaning up prior issues. Mm -hmm. And I think that the attitude towards the financial department in general from all departments has been unacceptable. We are busting our butts. And for the nitpickiness going to newspapers and wanting 50 million articles attached to here and there and whatever, we are already overtaxed and overworked in our positions. Please stop adding tiny little minute things that don't make a difference to what the current situation is, and it doesn't change the past. We're moving forward, trying to bring this town into this century, and we'd like your help doing that not you working against us. Well, I'm, Point if I, if I could reply to that, just sure. on a personal level, this isn't about nitpicking particular line items. For the last couple of years, um, just, for just for reference, I was not referring exactly. to your board. No. Well, you know, be that as it may, it, it certainly felt that way to me. So, um, in any case, um, We've been trying to, in the course of what we're doing, if you don't ask questions, you, you can't find out information. We all come from different walks of life, and we all bring varying degrees of skills in, in, into this, okay? But we don't know everything about how it operates. We have to ask questions, and by law, we are allowed to ask questions. No, and it's not meant to, uh, well, in, in one particular instance, we have a disagreement on a particular department and how it's going and, you know, all that other stuff there. But we've questioned many things in various departments, so it hasn't been, I'm not saying you, it, it hasn't been singling anybody out. We've been asking questions about everything. And I, I just feel like we have to, and we're not, we shouldn't be bad guys because we're doing that. I, I want to be clear, I'm not, this was not directed at your board. This okay. is directed at the people who sit in the audience and judge the people yeah. who do our jobs every day when they have no idea what we do, mm -hmm. first of all. They work you hard. Are okay with, people are okay coming into our offices and yelling at us and telling us we're not doing our jobs. You have no idea what we're doing in this office. Mm -hmm. You have no idea how many hours these people are putting in to cover up for a person who was the backbone of this yeah. facility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. That's all. Yep. No one has been given credit for that in this financial team. We are also working together to create a much more cohesive yeah. financial team. Okay? We need to work together. We need to stop arguing. We need to stop running to the newspaper every time there is a discussion regarding something in this town. I understand that people need to know, but I also understand that the team in place is working very hard to correct yeah. every single issue. Mm -hmm. And it has been for the last nine months that I've been here. Yep. Well, I, I would have to add to that. I don't read that much of the newspapers, so I'm not even sure what's been out there. But it's not just newspapers, it's also social media. Okay. okay, I understand that. Okay. And that doesn't contribute yeah. either. So, okay. Madam Chairman, yep. I'm going to motion be. to adjourn because it's all of 835 and we all have other things that we need to be doing, and especially a financial team that I wish to say thank yes. you. Thank I, you. I would like to say thank you. I think we have an excellent financial team here in the town, and I, we're going to progress and we're going to make it better, and we're going to get everything straightened out. This town is a team. Let's it's make it team. work that way. Be small okay, time. so I'll make a motion. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had your motion and she had a second, so we're I just going to say aye. 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 Aye.